Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and I wanted to do a quick introduction on the Clubhouse app, if you are unfamiliar. So Clubhouse is another social media platform, if you will, like Twitter, like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, but it's different in the sense that it's audio only, and I'll get to that in a second. Right now, it's so kind of in the early stages of things that it's invite only. So the way you have to get on is someone has to invite you in. And once, once you're kind of on there, you get four invites after that. So you can invite four other people. And it's also only for iOS devices. So I actually have an Android phone. So in order for me to use it, I had to hop on my tablet and use it that way. So uh, if you don't have an iPhone or an iPad, it won't work at the moment, right? At the moment. But... The way it works, it's an audio-only platform in the sense that, think like, think like a convention, right? Like Comic-Con, and there's various rooms and panels, and then, of course, the audience. So that's kind of how Clubhouse works, where you can start uh, a room, or someone else has started a room, and if you can join it, right? So if it's a room that, uh, that, that you didn't start yourself, well, then you can join in and be part of the audience. Sometimes you might be invited up to... Uh, be a moderator as well, or uh, you know you can kind of ask a question by raising your hand or something like that, right? So you know it's it's almost like a Q and A at a convention. Or conversely, you can start your own room, be the moderator and talk and bring up panelists and do the same thing, answer questions and so forth. And the main page, if you will, once you kind of are logged into Clubhouse is um, you know what they call the hallway. So there you see all the various rooms and you can explore based on topic uh, that is of interest to you and, and really listen. So the, the kind of interesting part about Clubhouse is in a lot of ways you're, you get to be a fly on the wall in this sense. So it's, it's very fun and easy for a lot of major players uh, let's say like if Gary V or even recently Elon Musk, they hopped on and, and chatted with um, people for two hours sometimes, right? And they shared their thoughts. And they don't have to be on screen via video, so it makes it very easy for them. And it also makes it easy for you because it's, it's a passive thing if you want to just listen in. You could be doing laundry, you could be exercising, whatever you want, and still gaining that information no different than a podcast. Except I think it's Slight, you know, it's different than a podcast because of the immediacy and, the in, and, and to a large extent, even a deeper intimacy. Now, of course, like all social media platforms, there's a negative side, you know, there's a lot of garbage and things like that, but it's all in how you utilize it, right? That, that dictates the experience. So you can have a good experience if you use it wisely, or you can have a bad experience if you just um, don't have intention, right? No different than Twitter, Instagram, and any of the other ones. What, what I like about it is the fact that, you know, it is truly, you, you get to kind of listen to it and learn a lot, right? You, you can almost see like business meetings oftentimes happening in real time and it is very intriguing. And because it's so in the early stages, right, this is the time to jump on and, you know, converse and things like that and, and attract an audience for yourself as well. Uh, so that's, that's kind of the really cool part. The, the thing that turns off people is that it's not really a distribution platform, right? You can't really upload something to there, uh, much like you would, let's say, YouTube or Instagram or whatever. You really have to kind of participate. And so the barrier to entry in that sense is time. Like it is, if you want to be part of these discussions, you have to dedicate that time and so forth. And, you know, even Gary, even someone like prolific, like Gary Vee, who puts out so much content, you know, it's not within his uh, automatic wheelhouse of how he does it in, in terms of his content model. So he has to dedicate the time to be able to do that. And of course, you know, in his day to day, he works like 12 hours a day. So he has to figure that out. And I kind of find myself in that category a little bit right now. I'm doing a lot of things, um, you know, more behind the scenes that aren't as front facing. And and so, you know, it can be difficult for me to jump on, but I do make it a point and the discussions that I've been a part of and the discussions that I've listened to have always benefited me. And so these are some of the, my thoughts on Clubhouse, how you can also approach it and how, you know, me also encouraging you to get involved with Clubhouse and see for yourself firsthand.
So when you do, or if you already have, let me know what your thoughts on uh, on it are, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly type of thing, you know, all that stuff. Uh, curious to know from your perspective, or if you have questions, by all means, at this point, I hope you know you can ask. Happy to converse with you. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.